Welcome guys, uh, in this section we will be discussing information matrix, uh, information routing. And what is information routing? Uh, you can see on the left side if you click this information routing, the information, uh, this matrix will appear. This will, by this way you can route different information like input, output, uh, to buffer, to SAS uh, communication systems. Uh, you can easily route this information. Let's see this matrix. Uh, information is uh, divided into column and rows. Uh, in the left hand side, you can see different uh, signals. These are the groups of signals. Some signals you can find in journal, some use signals you can find in device. Uh, alarms, times uh, management, and all these things are available here. Here uh, you can see source. Uh, here you can define source of the signal. This is the binary input. This is the base module. Similarly, you can see uh, LEDs also. You can mask here uh, through this uh, matrix. Here you can see uh, the inputs. Okay, so some of the inputs are configured. Okay, for example, you can see in the uh, group disconnector one. Uh, binary input number 1.3 and 1.4 are configured. This is the module 1. This is the module 2. So module 1 input number 3. Module 1 input number 4. Uh, there is one feature in Dixie 5 uh, because very long matrix and uh, scrolling through it uh, could take a lot of time. So in order to save this time you can collapse different uh, groups. For example I have collapsed the source so everything is uh, hidden now under source and the other information i can see similarly you can collapse different groups and one group will be shown that is a really uh, handy uh, way here you can say this is source is the main group uh, under this group uh, you can see binary input of course the binary input can be source source can be functions for example you can connect the uh, output from the source uh, to certain contact uh, it will be become input to the contact if for example if certain function CFC function operate uh, a certain output can operate uh, here you can see the destination group uh, it's con uh, containing binary output here you, where you want to uh, send the signal is a destination so base module expansion module LEDs such things are, are included in it on the left hand side uh, you can see you have uh, different uh, groups also the group of disconnector group of breaker group of uh, voltage and current three phase you have seen all these things in the single line configurator earlier i have explained in detail so all the signal in this group uh, further can be seen in the uh, information routing or the, in this matrix and further you can assign uh, uh, input and output through this matrix this is really uh, uh, good information uh, there is one another inf uh, good information if you just take the mouse and place it to any binary uh, output or any uh, any input so the label will be shown which is defining the address uh, information module base and also it will uh, define the label that we have defined it, it will be shown here so this all we have defined and you can easily access by keeping the mouse uh, this uh, uh, pointer on specific okay now if you want to i want to assign a specific uh, binary input to specific function for example i want to assign uh, by uh, i will click journal uh, and then i will si select uh, reset leds then i will right click it now you have option of uh, active with voltage active without voltage uh, or not rotate so uh, it means that as soon as you press the led reset button the bind specific binary input uh, will be energized then you can use this uh, for example in cfc function or you can then configure it to a system interface so there are many options in the same way you have to do the configuration okay now uh, how you will assign the binary output uh, it's also very easy first of all you have to select the function at which you want to enable specific binary output under destination uh, main group their binary output is a subgroup and then the base module for example base module 1 is, is, is we have selected here base uh, and one has 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.3 addresses like this 
similarly expansion module this is 3 so the address start with 3 this is slot 3 so if I want to select the expansion uh, binary output I want to assign to some certain function I have to right click and then I have to uh, they have two options uh, either this output is latch unlatch or not rotate so if you select the output latch then in that case uh, the, the after pickup the contact will remain close but if you select unlatch after a certain time that we also we can define in Dixie milliseconds uh, it will will be a pulse now this is another example in which uh, you can select recorder and you can also assign signal to the buffers or recorders fault recorders so this is 